And for the last several months, CBS 17 has partnered with the Durham documentary filmmaker to hear from people helping to lead the fight in Ukraine. CBS 17's Russ Bowen brings us a very latest conversation with Steve Boston and what that war has meant for the expansion of NATO. After a recent appearance at the White House, the leaders of both Sweden and Finland have now filed formal applications to join NATO. That decision by the two Nordic countries is all due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Current member of Ukraine's parliament, Volodymyr Arayev, explained the situation from his location in Ukraine. I see the, that Finland that was very loyal to Russia just a few months ago, now completely changed, turned uh, 180 degrees back. NATO member Turkey has already shown resistance to approving the addition of Sweden and Finland. Russia's nuclear arsenal is one reason Ukraine's former Minister of Infrastructure says the entire world must unite and that other members of NATO should support the joining of new members. In this particular situation, when you have crazy guy walking with nuclear uh, stick, I would say that we should all unite our efforts and strength. Finland shares 830 miles of its border with Russia and has remained officially neutral for decades. But recent developments, if we may call a war in Europe uh, by recent developments, has proven to Finland that the only way to survive is to join NATO. While Putin's strength has yet to lead up to its hype before the war, it doesn't mean that would necessarily be enough to deter him in the future. Now they are really care about their security, understanding that as a part uh, of the Russian Empire, uh, Finland, uh, Finland's security is really jeopardized uh, by the current. Moscow regime. A regime that both men agreed did not count on Ukraine's determination to send the Russian military back to where they came from. Russ Bowen, CBS 17 News.